I was looking for you. How old are you? You're six. So we started the show four years before you were born. <laughs> You guys are catching up to do, pal. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kiddo. You may have been the reason. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> what episode was airing? Seven. Season <laughs> four. One. All right. You got a mic over there. Yes. Hi. Um, hi, my question is for Jared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so um, I do forensics. And uh, so you've really given me a lot of confidence to be able to do that because of what you've done. So I was wondering how your experience with forensics has helped you kind of grow as an actor. Forensics, I feel like. So for those who don't know, when when I was in high school, um, I, I did stage plays and was called forensics. Now forensics is like speech and debate, but it's also you can do duet scenes, you can do dramatic scenes, humorous scenes. And you have to play so many different characters. And I actually felt that my... We're just talking about a crime scene here? <laughs> no, not that, not that. I actually, feel like, um, I actually feel like forensics helped me more for TV and movies than stage ever possibly could have. Because it's more about finding the minutia in the characters. You know, it's not like, here I am. And there's nothing really showy about it. Um, it's more about differentiating characters. Like, do you do dramatic or humorous? Or do you do... Dramatic, yeah. Yeah, so you have to play multiple characters. And so really trying to find not just the level of, I gotta make a funny face. Like it's, it's more than just the voice, it's more kind of the mannerism. So I feel like specifically with Supernatural, which is so bizarre, you know how you, you're like, I took Latin in school, I'm like, never gonna use this. <laughs> but now I've used Latin, and now because of Supernatural, I've had to go play different characters, like Gadriel. And so to, to break, Part of the things you do in forensics is you'll play one character, the character's talking to his dad, and then you come to, you know, like you kind of, from body to tonation. So I feel like specifically forensics in school really helps you prepare for shows like Supernatural. <laughs> um, but good luck. So if you're planning on doing a show like Supernatural in the future, yes, stick oh, forensics is where, yeah, it's where you really want to be. And take Latin. So you want to do the, uh, the exercises. Awesome. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, have fun. Who else has that? All right. Hi. Um, first of all, as an actor, I just wanted to um, tell the both of you that you put on such an amazing performance. Um, the small, just from the small to the large, it's very inspiring to me. And um, I, I draw a lot of inspiration from you as I, as I try to grow. Um, and my question for the both of you is, um, what has presented the greatest challenge for the both of you as actors over the course of the show? And how do you think you've grown since the first season? That's a great question. That's a great one for Jensen to start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me take that one. That's, uh, mm. uh, <clears throat> I think one of the one of the biggest challenges, um, and Jared's probably had, had he's been served this a lot more than I have, is having to play different characters within, but still keeping it within the vein of your character. Uh, one of the one of the more difficult ones for me was season four uh, um, when we got a glimpse of the future and saw future Dean uh, talking with present Dean. And there was to, to, to slightly put the slight variance on his you know on, on the future and, and, and still keep it within the same vein of the character. Those kind of challenges. Uh, I think we, we really enjoy those challenges. They're tough, uh, and we probably don't enjoy them while we're doing them. But afterwards, we can look back, reflect on it, and be like, wow, that was really great. It was challenging. I actually got better as an artist doing that. Uh, <clears throat> so I think the, the challenging things are the things that push us and make us better. Uh, directing is also one for me. I know that it's, uh, it's, a, it's just a totally different mind frame from the acting. Um, it, it's, with acting, I'm responsible for my character and bringing that to life the best that I can. As a director, I'm responsible for the entire show and bringing that to life. So it's, it's a bit of a, a, a brain buster. But those are the kind of things I feel like if I'm uncomfortable and I'm out of my comfort zone in a way that forces me to, uh, to think harder, to push myself, uh, then that is, that is the gratification I will end up getting in the end. 
So it's even though it may be uncomfortable and I may be like, why did I agree to do this? This is the stupidest idea. By the end of it, when I'm done, it's like, I'm glad I can hang my hat on that because I heard that. So th that's the kind of stuff that yeah. 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 Mine is actually entirely different. It has nothing to do with the actual work. Uh, I'm sorry, the actual performance. Mine is legitimately um, remembering that I am where I want to be, and I'll explain a little bit. Like when I was doing season, me specifically, I don't know if it was Light and Taste Park or something, and I was just feeding off of Sam Winchester's, like not wanting to be there. But I missed my family, I missed my friends, I missed my dogs, I missed my house. You know what I mean? I, I, you were a child. I was a child. I was, yeah. And you know, I didn't get. Jared kind of learned as, because I've been on Gilmore Girls where I'd like, I'd be shit schedule. I'd come into work, you know, like, hey guys, here's my scene. All right, see you next week. <laughs> I had time and I'd go play. I'd go to San Antonio, visit my family. I'd go to Vegas, you know, like I, I sort of was living the high life. And then when we got Supernatural and they warned us, they were like, listen guys, this is going to be a lot of hard work. We're like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, this is going to be a lot of hard work. Like, you're away. Yeah, who knows who you're going to shoot? And as it was, we got moved to Canada. And I, I was a good student. I didn't even know what Vancouver was. I was like, Toronto, you mean? Are you mispronouncing it? Um, and so, it was just like, so for me, it was, it was remembering to, to really enjoy the work. Um, there's like a great Muhammad Ali quote where he talks about the fight isn't won in the ring, the fight is won on the streets. Like when you're jogging and when you're training and you're practicing. And it's all that hard work that goes into the finished product that it took me, it was like a sink or swim situation. I, I, had, I had signed on, I was doing the work. I loved the work, luckily, and I got along with this guy, and I was really happy with all that. So it just was like, fine, just keep doing it, keep doing it. And then I, I came to realize, like, this is amazing. This is, a, this is the blessing, is being able to work so hard, it's being able to work such long hours. And now we have 200 episodes and counting to show for it. So. Yeah, I love the process. Love the process. I'm going to head over here, too, because we've, we've been... Somebody had their hand up for a long time. And right there, yes. You've had your hand up. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, quit looking around. It's you. <laughs> And it is 
is we've had we've had not over nine seasons of ups and downs and challenges and like like we were, I was saying earlier the directing and him with the you know all the different uh, facets of Sam and, and there's there's been a constant challenge every day we go into work and it's you know we're away from our family we're in a different country a lot of things none of that compares to the challenge and also the gratification of having a child. And they may, my best advice might sound like a joke, but sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it sucks. Sure does. Sometimes it sucks. You don't even know yet. And it's supposed to. It's, Wait till they get to be teenagers. It's supposed to. It's like working out. It's like, God, this is like you're doing squats or something. You're hating it. But it's worth it. When the, especially for me, I was a, I'm sure I was a fine father, but the first couple months were so difficult because I was like, I've got a baby. It wants nothing to do with me. It wants mama. It wants... It wanted something I couldn't yet give. Yeah, you're basically a pack mule for the first like <laughs> year of year of their life. Oh, no. When you're then, when you're on the phone, like I was skyping with uh, with my kids, and my my nine month old can't speak yet, but he tries, and my two and a half year old can. We we're actually just on the way here watching videos of my son running around his daughter, like trying to play. Oh. Um, so that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's all worth it. You look back at the shitty times and go like, I, I lost sleep and I had to miss this and I couldn't do that. And I, you, you give up a lot of your personal time, but it, the investment is worth it. Like it's worth the time. So don't, don't be ashamed when you find that you're like bummed, like, oh, this is terrible. Every, every parent feels like that. And if they don't feel like that, they're nuts. <laughs> Sometimes it sucks, man, but it's all worth it. And also, also, no matter how difficult you think it is, and how hard it is, and how uncomfortable you are, it's nothing compared to how difficult and challenging and uncomfortable she is. Remember that. I think that's it, guys. Um, and I know we love y'all.